This is Mr. Warden. I'm going to do a short video on 18 and also 20 from the 2018 MCAS for 8th grade math. And number 18, it has a diagram with a cylinder that has a radius of 3 inches and a height of 5 inches. And formula alert, formula alert, we want to, I'm going to pause and I'm going to go to the formula page. So there's a formula page. If you don't remember how to get the volume of a cylinder, well, here it is, right circular cylinder volume formula. So it's going to be pi times radius squared times height. We've been given the radius and we've begin, been given the height. So that's the equation we're going to use, pi times radius squared times height. I'm going to pause and go back. And magically, we're back at number 18. So we're going to do volume equals pi. Okay, pi times, I'm going to pause, you don't have to watch me. So we're going to replace, so there's your formula, P volume for a cylinder, right cylinder of pi times radius squared times height. By the way, this will work for a non-right cylinder too. Um, so what we need to do is square the radius, which is 3, so that's 3 squared. And we're going to multiply that times the height, times 5. Notice I'm not bothering with the pi yet. We'll deal with that in a second. We'll multiply times pi in the end. But if you look at the answers, they're all in terms of pi. So you can kind of treat pi like a variable in these. Uh, so that's going to be 3 squared, which is 9. 9 times 5. And 9 times 5 is 45. Okay, and it's 45 times pi because it's all times pi. Because of circles. And 45 pi is right there. There's your answer. All right, which of the following is equivalent to this expression down here? 7 squared times 7 to the negative 4. We have the same base in both cases. That's two factors of 7 and the opposite of four factors of 7. Um, so negative four factors of 7 and two factors of 7. All we have to do with multiplication with the same base is add the exponents. So that's going to be 7 to the 2 plus negative 4. Okay, and that's going to be 7 to the negative 2 power. Now, what is 7 to the negative 2 power? So that equals 7 to the negative 2. Okay, that means we're dividing 1 by 7 and then by 7 again. So that's 1 over... 7 squared. And 1 over 7 squared would be 1 over 49, but we've got just in the expression of just 1 over 7 squared, and that's the answer. Notice that this is 7 over 7 to the negative 2 over 1. When I just moved, when I flipped that fraction, the sign of the exponent changed. Anytime you flip a fraction, the sign of the exponent changes. That's a thing to know in the background. But that's your answer. 7 to the 2 times 7 to the negative 4 is 7 to the 2 plus negative 4, which is 7 to the negative 2, which is the same as 1 over 7 to the 2, which would end up being seven be 1 over 49. Uh, beware of this. This is not it. This negative exponent does not make the number negative. It simply tells us we're using 7 as a factor negative two times, which means we're using the opposite of a factor. The opposite of a factor is a divisor, so we're using seven as a divisor twice. And we're dividing one by seven by seven, which is one over seven squared.